on you can play some way today don't you hate when people overhype decks I do I really hate when people overhype decks and cards it's like okay this deck is gonna be so good oh my goodness let me make this on DN sad face doesn't work let me make this on death for oh my goodness yes I get to really see how this deck works sad face it just doesn't there are people on YouTube and and Facebook groups about Yu-Gi-Oh and, and in real life, when you go up to them, they're like, oh, this thing is going to be tier one. No, it's not. People don't look at decks and try to figure out, okay, why would this deck be tier one? They just say, oh, it's going to be tier one. Why? It just is. Because he said it. Because someone showed a brokenness, the brokenness part of it at one point on YouTube, and then you just assume. I don't know if people, what people do this to raise the price so they can sell cards. Overhype decks. Making things seem bigger than what they are, or more difficult than what they are. Oh, I hate burning the piss. I hate this deck. I hate this deck. I can't. They're un unbeatable. Ah, they're OP. Overpowered. And they're not. Burning Abyss. They utilize cards to discard because it complements them. Wing Blast. Oh, the sky. Oh, I get its effect. Woohoo! Compliments. It makes sense with the deck. Special some in the hand. You can go into rank threes. Good. You can special some from graveyard if you use the appropriate Burning Abyss effect. You can add from your hand, from your deck to your hand, if you use the appropriate burning this effect. It reminds me of Dragon Rulers. It really does. It's just reskin Dragon Rulers to level 3 instead of level 7. I played with Burning the Best. I was like, this doesn't seem very overpowered to me. When I'm playing against Burning the Best, I'm like, okay, you special summon that? Cool. You special summon that? Cool. You make it Dante? Fine. You set? That's cool. I know what you're doing, man. I knew he was going to do that. I know exactly what to do and how to combat your deck because I tested against your deck. You make it Dante every turn, it's just typical to me. It's normal. A lot of people look at these decks and say, oh, it's OP, I can't beat it, blah, blah, blah. But you know what they're going to do. You know what they do every single time. Oh, bam, bam, Dante, search, and face, set, blah. Go. Wing Blast, or Geki Break, Fire Lake, something. It's, you just know. I don't understand how you play against something over and over and over again. Say, I keep losing against it. They OP. Why you keep losing against it? Are you not learning? Playing against the deck? I, I don't understand how a deck can be so powerful in your eyes. And so good in your eyes. And keep winning. And you're letting it win. If you know that, oh, it's powerful. It's so good. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. After a while, you say, you know what? I keep getting punched in the face. It's like a video game when you when you you playing the boss. Okay, you lost. You play the game. I was playing God of War. Okay, I was fighting Zeus or something, and man, I just kept losing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm like, what the hell, man? You keep putting them in, putting me in this same position, doing the same moves, and I'm just losing. But then I found a glitch. I took the sword, okay, and I kept driving it into him, and he would flinch. And by the time I take my sword and hit him again, he wasn't ready. And he just kept flinching. And I kept doing it over and over again. Every time I played him, he lost. See, that's the thing. You gotta find that card. You gotta find that something, that's what side decking is, to defeat this deck so you won't keep getting... Demolished. If you're getting demolished, if you're not really standing up to Burning Abyss or any tier 1 deck, somehow, even with your side deck, something is wrong. Decks aren't that OP or that overhyped that you just can't do anything about it. I think that the overhypeness and people talking about it, they the over glorifying these decks, make it appear like they, they're, they're undefeatable or you can't win against. Of course, people win against it. But the way they look at it, it's like, oh, it's just there. Tier zero. It's, I think it's an immature way to look at these decks. Thanks for watching. Your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. And I'll end my turn. Go.